Um, I'm going to talk about Toronto, um, Toronto, the city that we love, and um, but sometimes complain about a lot. Um, there's always this kind of feeling living in Toronto that uh, we are ugly um, and uh, we don't live up to Paris. Uh, but the thing is, if you've been to Paris or if you've been to Prague or if you've been to uh, Edinburgh, these super beautiful Ivanhoe uh, fairy tale cities, they're kind of like morgues. They're dead. It's dead culture. And it's dead because the city was decided hundreds of years ago by someone else. Um, whereas Toronto is complete freedom. Uh, we're a new city and we have all this liberty here. And, one, and there's three uh, kind of thrusts to this. And one of them is we get to do new things with our old stuff. Sometimes we're bad and we tear down our old stuff, which happens a lot, which is not good, um, when they're good buildings that we tear down. But there's a lot of examples in Toronto where we um, have incorporated contemporary uses with our old buildings. And there's not very many cities around the world that can pull this off as well as Toronto. London, uh, England might be one. Um, but a lot of cities, if you remember, uh, I.M. Pei put that thing in the Louvre, those pyramids, and it's still controversial today. Whereas we put the crystal on and, um, well, it's a little controversial, but um, but uh, but we I think we got away with it a lot more. And there's a lot of small examples that I, it, all these pictures are from Yorkville. I know I'm really far in the west, so this is, these pictures are all in the center of the city. So some of you have never seen that part of Toronto, um, past Ossington or the Black Hoof, or wherever the the border is um, in this zone. Um, but, uh, but Yorkville did this thing in the 70s uh, with uh, Hazleton Lanes. Well, Hazleton Lanes was probably 83. Um, and it's this wicked incorporation of modernist architecture and uh, Victorian buildings. And they kind of flow in between each other in this really magical way that I've, uh, I haven't seen in any other city that I've been in. in. Um, as well, we have uh, Toronto does Victorian homes, three-story Victorian homes, and skyscrapers, glass and steel skyscrapers, almost right next to each other and over top of each other. Uh, really well. That's why I really like more condos in Toronto. Uh, I know a lot of people say the word condo as if it's a bad word, but when I, I like to replace the word condo with people. It's more people. And if you're against condos, you're against people. We can be against bad condos, uh, badly designed condos, but the idea of condos is just more people. And that's fine for the city. Um, this is the old Mount Sinai Hospital, um, which I don't even know what this, what this store is. It's for people um, who have really tight, cocaine-y faces in Yorkville. Um, <laughs> But it looks really beautiful, and there's a glass skyscraper coming out of it, which is really hot. Um, and this is on Cumberland. Um, I don't know what's new, and I don't know what's old in these uh, three-story buildings there. There's the Four Seasons, of course, which was 1968, awesome concrete. Um, but, uh, but, but, the, but the strip here, I don't know what's new and old, um, which I think is really great. Uh, it's, it, it can be, things can be new, and, and as long as they're built to a good scale. Uh, kind of blend in. Um, and then this is the greatest uh, thing I ever came across in Yorkville. This vintage, like 1983 or 1978 Mercedes uh, and like 18,000 uh, Hare Krishnas and the giant Muskoka rock that has been transported into Muskoka. So super Precambrian old and hot German, uh, Cold War old and uh, hippies. Uh, so, uh, the second thing is uh, kind of plays on what our friend from Calgary in the first half of this was talking about, um, maybe a little pejoratively in that sense. But I think this kind of ugly streetscape, this, uh, this jumble, um, what some, some of us call messy urbanism, is actually the freest thing in the world. Um, this is Young Street, uh, and I live a block away from Young Street. I never want to live more than a block away from Young Street because it's the greatest street in the world because anything can happen on Young Street. Um, there's extremely f uh, fancy places, expensive restaurants, uh, and then there's, um, there's you know, rub and tugs up above uh, nail shops. There's Scientologists stacked up really high um, next door to rub and tugs and, um, and uh, pad thai places. Uh, so those, those are all the three, you know, that's spiritual, spirituality, um, physicality, and food afterwards. So that's all you ever need. Um, but I think, sorry? Heckler? Um, I think that people have this vision of Paris in their head, right? When, and, and nothing will ever uh, match up with Paris, and Paris is fine. Um, what people can do, there's, uh, this is uh, economic liberty as well. Uh, mom and pop types, people like you and me, young entrepreneurs, old entrepreneurs, whatever we are, um, can, can, can start something up. And there's no prescribed uh, thing that you have to put in on a place like Young Street. And even this strip here uh, of Dundas is, is, is happening the way Young Street happened uh, since, the, since the 60s. Um, a place like the Garrison, I don't think it happened in 
uh, Prague or elsewhere. Um, but we have this liberty here to do to repurpose whatever this terrazzo tile place was before. And the third part of this is accepting that we are a vertical city. Um, I know we're, we're out here in the West End, and it's all these three-story Victorian homes, um, which I like to call sprawl. Um, because if we all lived like this, we would stretch all the way to Muskoka. Um, and if we're going to have all these people coming to Toronto, there's another two million or something people. I know Rob Ford's scared of them, uh, but the rest of us have to welcome them in. Um, they're going to live like this. And high rises um, are a glory. And when they're done right, and these are the village on the green just off of Church Street. Uh, this is Vaseline Tower. Um, wonderful Vaseline Tower. Um, when, when they're kept up and they're not uh, let rot the way a lot of uh, bad landlords have in the suburbs, um, they are these kind of um, utopic spaces uh, where people live uh, really close to the Church Street bustling strip or the Young Street bustling strip, but they have these kind of small parkettes and these magnificent fountains in there. And if you've ever been to a party in the penthouse of the village on the green, you have these, this, these great views of the top of Maple Leaf Gardens and the great hump of the downtown skyline. Um, and uh, all these things are also uh, on the same block as 1889 Victorians, uh, and they all mix really well. And um, this, is, uh, this is Radio City, where the old CBC place used to be, and this is one of the best examples. This is a, a building that went up, I think, in 2004, and on Mutual Street here, there's 1890s Victorians. Um, and the blend is perfect Toronto, and there's very few cities that can pull this thing off, and uh, we can because we are free and we are liberated and we uh, are not a morgue. Thank you.